Hello and welcome to Barca News. It's July 29th, 2022, and Juan Laporta has given a very interesting interview where he spoke about a myriad of subjects, including on whether Barcelona will be willing to bring back Messi to the club. Also, the club has finally addressed the reports that they'd be willing to sell Mark Ter Stegen in the case that Frankie de Jong does not leave this summer. Finally, a new name has emerged in the list of possible players that Barcelona will be looking to sign to reinforce the left back position. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Mo and I created this channel so it could be a one-stop shop for all Barcelona fans where they can come here and get the latest news regarding FC Barcelona. Whether it be transfer rumors, injury updates, post-match analysis or anything else, you will find it here. So I invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news regarding our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Now we will begin with the news that the team are still in New Jersey ahead of the last preseason match in their summer USA tour that will take place tomorrow night against the New York Red Bulls. Now the team took the morning off yesterday because they had several events scheduled in Manhattan but they did train last night. Now the team has two trainings scheduled for today, one in the morning that already concluded and one later this evening. Now yesterday the team had several events scheduled in Manhattan with one of them being to celebrate Barcelona's new partnership with UNHCR which is the UN agency in charge of refugees all around the world. Now during this event, Juan Laporta gave a very interesting interview where he gave us many interesting headlines. Now Juan Laporta addressed uh, Bayern Munich's manager Nagelsmann who had given a statement a few days earlier inquiring about how Barcelona could afford all of their signings given their financial situation. Now to those statements Juan Laporta responded what I would ask is that Bayern Munich check out their bank account they have received a lot of money for the transfer of Lewandowski I respect everyone and I don't interfere in other people's finances. Now Juan Laporta also addressed other clubs who had also been spending all of their summer talking about Barcelona and its financial situation and inquiring on how Barcelona can sign players given their financial situation. Now to those clubs Juan Laporta said, I give them the benefit of the doubt that maybe they thought we couldn't do it but they had engaged the strength of Barcelona and the draft of the new board. It's a lack of knowledge, a lack of information about our club. The levers have strengthened the club a lot. We have already turned the page. We have more than 400 million fans who demand more from us than others. Everyone knows what they have to do. And if, and if I don't interfere in what others do, I would ask them not to interfere in what we do. Now these are very strong words from Juan Laporta telling other clubs to not worry about Barcelona's finances and only to worry about theirs and to worry and to mind their own business respectfully. These clubs have spent all summer talking about Barcelona and wondering how they're able um, to, to make all these signings given their financial situation and Juan Laporta has credited these criticism to the lack of knowledge and the ignorance of, of these other clubs. After all, all the board of directors have been working tires tirelessly day and night to straighten the financial situation at the club and with all that with the activation of the economic levers and the Spotify deal Barcelona have been able to bring in close to 1 billion euros and that's how the club are able to make these signings these signings are not materializing out of thin air Barcelona are not paying for these players with hugs and goodwill this is real money in Barcelona's bank accounts that the club are spending on these players and if Juan Laporta does not interfere with other clubs finances and uh, and dealings that they should not interfere with ours and I'm very glad that Juan Laporta has made these statements because I'm I too am tired of constantly hearing other clubs talking about Barcelona talking about our finances talking about how we're doing this or doing that and when they should be only worrying about their own finances about their own dealing and they should be worrying about preparing for the upcoming season rather about worrying about what, what Barcelona is doing now Juan Laporta was also asked about the reports that have surfaced lately in regards that the club are trying to bring back Lionel Messi when his contract expires with PSG next summer. Now in regards to the subject, Juan Laporta said, I did what I had to do in order to put the institution above the best player in our history. I have known Messi since he was a kid and I love Leo. I feel immoral debt to Messi. 
He's the best player in our history and I will do my best in order to ensure he can have the best ending of his career with a Barca shirt on. I would like to bring him back. It will not be easy, but I think with the correct strategy, we could do it. I think Messi has been the most important player in our history. During a long period of success, he was the leader. He was the one who excited our supporters. We will do our best to have Messi ending his career at Barcelona and being applauded by everyone. Now with these statements, Juan Laporta has confirmed that it, it is indeed his wish to bring Lionel Messi back to the club for a proper farewell, which is what Messi truly deserves. Now I really hope that this does happen. I would love to see Lionel Messi back at the club at least for one season where he can play one final season with the, with the Barcelona jersey on where he could go to all these stadiums where he made history and he could be applauded by everybody so he can receive the proper goodbye that a legend like him deserves. After all, Lionel Messi is the biggest legend in the history of Barcelona and one of the biggest legends in the history of football. Now, Juan Laporta was also asked about the future of Frankie de Jong and in regards to the Dutch player, Juan Laporta said, All we are doing with Frankie is the same as the rest of the squad. The signings coming in have adjusted their salary to the new structure, but Frankie has a contract and we respect that. We can't force him to take a pay cut. It's his decision. We are trying to manage the football club in a prudent and sustainable way. So we have to have these talks and we do so in a calm and considered way. We have explained the situation and are grateful to any players who can help us. It was the same with Dembele and I am very grateful to him. And after months of talks, he accepted a renegotiation of his salary and he can be proud of his decision. Now with these statements, Juan Laporta has explained what's going on with Frankie de Jong and that is that Frankie de Jong is a player whose contract was given to him by the previous president, Josep Maria Bartomeu, and as a result, he has a very high salary. He's one of the highest earners on the squad. He will be earning 90 million euros net this season, and that will go up to 24 million euros net next season, and his salary will continue to rise with every year until the expiration of his contract. Now, in order to rein in the club's finances, Juan Laporta has implemented a strict pay scale that will see no player earn more than 10 million euros. Now, Juan Laporta is trying to bring all the players under the same pay scale in order to control the club's uh, very high spending under the previous president, Josep Maria Bartomeu, which is the number one reason why we are currently in this terrible financial situation. So, Frankie de Jong is not being targeted. There's nothing against him. He's just like any other player that Juan Laporta is trying to bring under the pay scale in order to have a sustainable and viable financial plan for the survival of the club. Now, while we are on the topic of Frankie de Jong, there are reports stating that the club have found a third option in regards to the future of the Dutch player. Now, the first option was to offload Frankie de Jong to Manchester United uh, per the, the agreement that Barcelona have reached with the English club where Man U will pay 85 million euros for the transfer of Frankie. Now, Frankie de Jong has completely ruled out that this option because he is not sold on Manchester United's sporting project and he wants to play the Champions League, which is something that Manchester United currently cannot offer him. Now, the second option was for the club to keep Frankie de Jong, but to renegotiate his, uh, uh, his salary and bring it down by at least 40%. There are reports now that the club are considering a third option in case Frankie de Jong does not agree to reduce his salary and that is to loan out Frankie de Jong this upcoming season to one of the interested clubs in him such as Bayern Munich or Chelsea. Now by doing this Barcelona will be removing Frankie de Jong's salary of their wage bill allowing them to still register the new incoming signings. Now it's also being reported that Barcelona would try to insert an obligation to buy in that contract forcing whichever club takes Frankie de Jong on the loan to buy the Dutch player next season. Now speaking of Frankie de Jong, as I reported previously, uh, the, me uh, the news media outlet SER had reported that if Barcelona were unable to offload Frankie de Jong, they will be willing to sell Mark Ter Stegen. Well the club has finally spoken in regards to that report. And they have confirmed that Mark Ter Stegen is not for sale. In fact, Mark Ter Stegen is Xavi's number one option for goalie and Iñaki Peña will be his sec the second goalkeeper this upcoming season. Now on to the news that the uh, agreement between Barcelona and Sevilla has been made 100% official today. Now as I reported in yesterday's video, which I will leave the link for down below in the description in case you want to check it out. 
Barcelona reached an agreement with Sevilla for the transfer of Jules Koundé in a deal worth uh, 50 million euros fixed plus 10 million euros in variables. Now, Conde arrived in the city of Barcelona yesterday to undergo his medical exams. Now, whenever there's an agreement with another club for the signing of the player, those agreements are in, are in principle and they depend heavily on whether the player will pass his medical exams. Well, Jules Conde underwent and passed his medical exams today, making the agreement between Barcelona and Sevilla for the transfer of the French player 100% finished official and finalized. Now Jules Koundé will sign a contract with Barcelona for five years and will have a 1 billion euro uh, release clause. Now Jules Koundé will be presented as a Barcelona player on August 1st and on that day Jules Koundé will sign his official contract with Barcelona in private followed by a public signing and finally that ceremony will end with a press conference. Well now that Jules Koundé has, has joined the club, Barcelona will launch an offensive to try to sign Cesar Azpilicueta and Marcos Alonso from Chelsea. Now in the case of Cesar Azpilicueta, the club will be looking to spend around 5 to 6 million euros uh, on the Spanish player to reinforce the right back position. Now in the case of Marcos Alonso, the situation is a little bit more complicated given that Chelsea will be asking around 10 to 12 million euros for the player which Barcelona are not willing to pay. Now, in case this operation does fail, Barcelona are currently in the market looking for other options to reinforce the left back position. Now, as I've reported many times before, Barcelona are looking to sign Cayo Enrique from uh, the league on club Monaco. Now, a new name has emerged as a possible option for Barcelona to reinforce the left back position, and that name is the 29 year old Colombian player Johan Mojica. Now Mojica currently plays as the left back at Elche, he's very good going forward and he also is good defensively. In fact, he has a very similar profile to that of Marcos Alonso. Now Mojica would be a low cost option for Barcelona given that his release class at Elche is 5.5 million euros. Now we will end today's video with the news that Bayern Munich have signed Adam Aznu from Barcelona. Now in, the case, in case you haven't heard of Adam Aznu, he's a 16 year old left back and he was one of the biggest promising talents out of La Masia. Now it seems that the German club have been able to snatch Adam Aznu away from Barcelona and he will be joining the German club's youth academy. Now this is unfortunate news because Barcelona will be missing out on this huge talent and on this promising career. That is it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please give me a like. Also, I invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news regarding our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Pisca Barça.